All right. Well, now we are at the second half of the show, and we are going to be getting into the uh, next matchup here between Scott Makes a Thing and Atze. And I am so excited to see this match because this is going to be the first time ever that we get to see Rhino, Rhino Cad or Rhinoceros here in our speed modeling tournament. Yeah. Now, if you if you watch the tournament qualifiers and maybe you've already seen Rhino in action, but this is the first time we're going to actually see it here in the uh, in the live in the chat. And uh, we see in the chat here we got some people. Scott makes a thing saying good luck, Atze. So I guess Atze has a fan out there, and that fan is the person who he's playing against. Yeah. <laughs> So good luck. So we're going to take a look here at drawing number three. And uh, while we are getting that all set up, Connor, maybe you could introduce us to our runners. Yeah. So starting off with Scott makes a thing. He's uh, using Rhino and he has been using Rhino since 2015. Uh, this is my personal first time seeing Rhino. So I am excited. Sorry, I'd say. Uh, <laughs> I have seen SolidWorks quite a bit more, though, <laughs> and uh, created a custom millwork for museums, science centers, and retail. That cool. is pretty cool. Yeah, and giving cool. back to the community, which I think that is very noble. And then moving on to Atze, um, he has been doing, or he did TTT CSWP prep and passed on the first try, which is very cool. Former army dude, very nice. I uh, think your service. And this is his second Two Tall Toby tournament. So... Congratulations, yeah, and uh, I wish you the best of luck. All right, guys, well, with that, let's get into it, shake off all the nerves, because here we go. This first CAD battle between Scott Makes a Thing using Rhinoceros from Canada and Atze using SolidWorks from Macedonia begins in three, three two, two, one, one go. go. What is the mass of this part in XXXX grams? Plus or minus four grams tolerance. This is plain carbon steel, and this is a tier three model here, and it looks like both of our runners have grabbed the screen capture. So let's move over to this CAD versus CAD battle and see how they handle this challenge. Looks like Atze decided to start out here on the front plane by sketching two circles. Looks like Scott Makes a Thing has also decided to start out on a front plane by sketching these two circles. So very interesting here. Scott Makes a Thing actually creating some additional circles there in the middle. That was kind of an interesting, and he moved them over wow That's interesting cool. interesting meanwhile i'd say using the more traditional approach created that kind of 125 line across there and now creating a solid line and mirroring across that 125 center line what a great reuse of geometry i love that move i'd say that was a uh, 100 toby and connor approved yeah and so we see here that on the left, it looks like it's going to be Scott makes a thing that takes first blood, gets that first solid geometry out there. We've seen this happen so many times where one user spends time creating a bunch of layout geometry. The other user jumps right in and starts making solid geometry. We'll see in this match which strategy prevails. Yeah. I, this reminds me of the uh, other model from the previous match, just a little stranger. Yeah, well, having those tangency conditions is definitely going to mix things up. But once again, we see that kind of clamping mechanism where the yeah. rod runs through. You know, these tier three challenges are going to be, they're going to have some similarities, that's for sure. Yeah. Before we start getting into like crazy, drafty, swoopy stuff that we'll see later in the tournament. Yeah. So we see here Atze still working on his first sketch, has not yet created any solid geometry. And here we go. He is off to the races now creating solid geometry. Let's see how long it takes him to turn this solid geometry into a fully defined model because Scott makes the thing is not going to make this easy for him. He's already got that central webbing. He's working on that lower section of this model where things are going to be clamping together. And uh, this is, I got a feeling this one's going to really come down to the wire. Yeah. I love the way that he made the uh, 2D geometry to make that. I don't know what the correct term that would be. That little slit there. Yep. That was cool. That was a cool move. Yeah, just included that right there during yeah. that extrusion. Yeah, very, very, you know, experience. He's using a lot of layout geometry. It's something that I think we've seen more and more Tutal Toby users doing since being exposed to different CAD systems. I know me as a SolidWorks user, I used to always do everything one sketch at a time, but now I'm, I'm way more into this technique by, by uh, Atze. But wow, wow, look at how wow. quickly all that geometry came together from Atze. But look at Scott makes a thing on the left. He's got almost all the same geometry ready to go here. So it looks like Atze has that extra central webbing that's running horizontally. Scott makes a thing does not yet have that. And so that may be the difference here between this run. Yeah. We're going to kind of see here as Scott makes a thing or as Atze is coming through with that final sketch geometry. 
Uh, maybe using a little Ivan exploit there. Yeah. We'll see what ends up happening here. And so it looks like we're going to see an answer here from, wow, from uh, Atze coming in with an answer. Five, four, seven, nine grams. And on my notes here, I have the correct answer. Five, four, seven, five, plus or minus four grams. So wow. that tolerance just barely saved him. Wow, 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 that was close. And look at Scott makes a thing. He is right behind him, but that point is going to go to Atze. Yeah. So correct answer, 5475, tolerance plus or minus 4 grams. And that tolerance let Atze kind of slip in there <laughs> and get that correct answer. And a win is a win. And wow, look at Scott makes a thing is just right behind him. What a close match. 5, 4, 7, 8. Almost 5479 as well, really. Yeah. Kind of coming up with that same answer and just a few moments behind Atze. Wow, wow, wow. Guys, great job. And uh fantastic. Yeah, Jern in the chat says Scott did fantastic. Yeah. Wow, wow, wow. Scott makes a thing coming in 5479 with his answer. That was really, really close. Really insane. Great job to both of our runners and congratulations to Wow, congratulations to Atze earning that first point. But it's not over yet, guys. You got to earn two points to get through into the semifinals for this tournament.